Palletizers are basically playing Tetris in an industrial environment. Just like in Tetris, the aim of palletizing is to arrange objects without any gaps as far as possible. To make this easier, many dimensions and designs are standardized, both for packaging and for pallets. Goods are stacked on pallets in layers. Palletizing is part of packaging technology, with the loaded pallet forming the tertiary packaging. Getting a good end result requires efficient alignment and positioning, just like in Tetris. But how does the product get onto the pallet? Pallets first need to be fed into the machine, either individually or as a magazine. In the latter case, the machine itself separates and forwards the pallets. What happens next depends on how many products are being moved at once. Individual products, a full row or an entire layer can be put onto the pallet in a single operation. As with Tetris, the product is moved and rotated before being maneuvered into its final position. How this is done depends, for example, on the variety of products and the speed. Simple solutions use mechanical stops and pivoting points. For this kind of system to work, the product flow and product must always stay the same and the resulting layer pattern cannot be modified. Complex solutions often carry out alignment and pre-grouping processes using tripods or robots. This means many different products can be positioned and flexible layer patterns can be created. In simplified terms, palletizers can basically be categorized into three groups, drive control, motion control, and Cartesian control. Layer palletizers, for instance, prepare the entire layer and then place it on the pallet in a single operation. In most cases, this is a quick and easy solution. If an articulated arm robot is being used, it moves the individual products onto the pallet one by one. The groups differ greatly in terms of flexibility and speed. Pack size, pack weight, and the nature of the packaging being used are also key factors when it comes to selecting the machine. Once a complete layer has been formed on the pallet, it may be necessary to add an intermediate layer, depending on the product. This improves stability and therefore provides greater protection during transportation. No intermediate layers are required for drink crates, for example, as these are locked in place by the crate underneath, but they are needed for film-wrapped six-packs. In this case, cardboard matting can be used. Intermediate layers made of plastic are also possible, when stacking car tires, for instance. The final step is to take away the fully packed pallet. This marks the handover from the packaging line to goods logistics. Extremely simple, horizontal materials handling technology that can handle relatively high loads is used at this stage. Today's palletizing systems need to be increasingly versatile and highly automated. New robot technologies are upgrading or replacing traditional, inflexible systems. The MoviC Modular Automation System provides the ready-to-use software modules and also the flexibility required for access control. SEW Eurodrive makes palletizing child's play.